Hey, it's JD here with Atlas Business Consultants, and this is a video for all the uh, beginning entrepreneurs, like young entrepreneurs, and uh, maybe you've been in a career for a little while and you just are like, man, I just can't do this anymore. I really want to have my own thing, and uh, you're not sure where to start. Um, I've got a short list of books that will keep you from buying the next shiny object. Um, it's kind of a catchphrase in the marketing community, shiny object syndrome. You go out there and you see something advertised on Facebook. We see them all the time in the feeds. Um, here's my perfect system to six figures of blah, blah, blah. And you're going to have a free webinar and then they're going to try to sell you a $2,000 course. They're not all bad. You know, you, you're really condensing all the learning that somebody had into a course. And so it's possible to get good ones, but usually um, with the proliferation of them, you've got the blind leading the blind. And uh, there are some key people that I found over the years. You can tell I read a lot of books. Um, you know, it's not just a backdrop. That's actually books. And I've read almost all of them. There's a few that are pretty new from Amazon. Uh, now I'm into Audible. I've got a ton of books on my phone, and I'm able to listen to them at a faster speed, which is what I recommend um, for people that are just needing to catch up, um, whether you're young and you've been in school this whole time and they haven't taught you anything about money, or uh, you've been busy living life with a career and a family and you are ready to, to make a, a new start, and you're going to need a lot of knowledge. Um, you don't have to have all the knowledge, so the key thing is to just start, but you want a few basics under your belt so that you're not um, swinging blind over and over again, wasting money um, to gain experience. You want to gain as much experience from reading as you possibly can, and Audible, turned up at a faster rate, will let you digest these books quicker and get this overview um, that will give you a firm foundation to get started. So the first book is not a huge popular seller, but it's a, a set of books that I stumbled across. Uh, this is the first book in the series, a guy named Richard Mayberry, Personal Career and Financial Security. Uh, it's the Uncle Eric series. So Uncle Eric talks about personal career and financial security by Richard Mayberry. This guy has an 11 book series that is completely eye-opening. Uh, that book in particular talks about how you use models to think. Um, and so it explains the best ways to learn new subjects. That way you can apply them in life. Uh, the rest of the series goes over um, everything from how does our monetary system work to how did we manage to get into world wars and things like that. And he is a... Um, he is a... Jeffersonian. He kind of has a preface in the beginning of his books that talks about how he believes in the concepts of liberty and that he sees the interactions of things on a world scale and the long-term effects, and he kind of paints the pictures of those subjects with that. The next book, probably heard of, and if you haven't read it, it's a quick read. Definitely want to do Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Um, this is going to give you the most basic and most foundational uh, aspect of business, which is what is an asset and what is a liability and how do you gain more assets and how do you escape the rat race? You know, you're living hand to mouth, uh, paycheck to paycheck and spending, you know, you're barely making enough to make the ends meet at the end of the month. Um, so how, how do you get out of that and is debt inherently bad or, can you use debt as a tool to get um, further ahead in life? Now, of course, just consuming things. Uh, debt for consumption is obviously not the answer, but the book's pretty interesting. Uh, shows you how to use debt in an intelligent way or to eliminate debt by creating or, or buying assets. The next book um, is by MJ DeMarco. Uh, he had a book that kind of put him on the map about six or seven years ago. And this one came out more recently and it is called unscripted life, liberty, and the pursuit of entrepreneurship. It's a pretty good sized book. And this goes a lot deeper into 
the concepts that it takes to escape the rat race. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad basically talks about, you know, your assets and liabilities and your income and your expenses and kind of just breaks the mold and shows you the difference between how a poor person or a middle class person's balance sheets and assets would look versus a rich person's. Uh, Unscripted goes into a much deeper um, explanation of why is our system set up the way that it is? Why does it seem like so many people can't get ahead? And if you wanted to break out of the, the chains of the current way things work, what would it take? How do you, how do you get into the fast lane with things? Um, and the answer is kind of surprising. Uh, he doesn't, he hates bro marketing, uh, which is kind of what I was talking about at the beginning of this video is the shiny objects, the marketing schemes that are pitching you, um, a course that may have some value, but it's questionable. Um, they're going to have high return rates and things like that. So what is the, the opposite of that? It's creating genuine value, solving a real problem and figuring out how to see those kinds of opportunities and then create a solution that is win, win, win to where you're not just um, trading your time for helping and you can only help one-to-one -one in a ratio, but figuring out ways to make that scalable where it makes sense. The last book, as far as uh, the paper ones I've got here, I've got a few bonus books, is a book called The Ultimate Guide to Google AdWords. Uh, Perry Marshall and a couple other guys wrote this. Perry Marshall is a real big internet marketing guy. He literally wrote the book on how to create Google ad campaigns. And once you um, have a business idea and you've figured out kind of your business model and how you want it to get it, put it together and you know your strategy, your life plan from the first book and the second book of what you want to do to accomplish that, um, being able to get people's attention, people are searching every day on Google and knowing how that system works and being able to funnel those people towards um, your content and your solutions uh, or your services is like having a, a genie in a lamp. Uh, if you can bring people to you that are already looking for solutions to the problems that you're solving, then, you know, it's just like, it's a no brainer. Um, the bonus reading stuff that I'd recommend, um, you can check out uh, Ted talk by Simon Sinek, or you can get his book, which is a little more in depth and it's called start with why that's his, um, I believe his first book. And, um, it really talks about the core difference between, you know, just the me too kind of company that's doing something and a company that's really purpose driven that starts with why they are serving a certain section, a certain segment. And a good example that he uses uh, in his Ted talk is a company like Microsoft versus Apple. He uh, related a little story where he was writing it, just within a few days of each other, he was writing with an executive from Apple uh, after he had been over at Microsoft and he was telling the guy, you know, have you seen the new uh, Zune player you know, back when iPods first came out and then the Zune player came out and technologically the Zune player was superior to the first generation of the iPod. So he was telling him about all of its features and the Apple executive said, I have no doubt that it's a better uh, music player. And he wasn't worried about it. And the, uh, he goes on to explain, Apple makes their products with a why in mind uh, for, for giving creative type people a way to, uh, to, to live their life. And Microsoft competes on their, their features, how the features work, not who it's for and what purpose it serves. Um, so that's a pretty good book uh, for helping you refine what you're delivering and what value you're creating with your um, business that you want to start. And then another book that's just amazing is uh, by a guy named Daniel Priestley. And he wrote a book called Key Person of Influence. And this book touches on what, what trends we have going on right now. If you aren't 
connecting with people on a personal level, if you're not being a real person to people, you're going to have a much harder time uh, offering a product or a service um, because the differentiation in the marketplace is going to be eventually go down into um, like a commodity. You know, if you're looking for, um, let's see, something that's really common. Uh, I remember I was trying to get those things to fix your 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 iPod earphones. You know, they always fall out of your ear. And there were three or four different companies that made them. And they all had similar reviews. And I just picked the one that was the cheapest because they all had similar levels of reviews. Um, that's where something has become a commodity. Now, if I wanted to um, learn about marketing or um, if you wanted to learn about a martial art or something like that and you saw a video of somebody and you know you're going to be working with the person and you want to see how they teach, you want to see what they're like, uh, yeah, you could look at some reviews, but you're not going to compare two different uh, teachers based on reviews, you're going to base it on how do you connect with them. And so um, the trend, you know, we've got AI and we've got robots and they're starting to do more and more jobs that were traditionally done by humans. But at this point, they can't replace um, communication and and connection uh, between humans. And so the key person of influence concept is how to, um, how to create content and how to, become an authority in your, your segment that you're working in and show your expertise so that people connect with you and they want to do business with you. So that's a really cool book too. Uh, I'm going to double check, make sure I didn't miss anything on my notes here. Most reasons to start with why key person influence. Yeah. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments or uh, send a direct message to me.